Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, Fire. Some individuals, I'm sure that you may have seen either the symbolism of fire, you have seen a vision of fire, you may have even looked at someone and seen fire around them. Unfortunately, this is not a good time for a fire vision. It does not necessarily mean that somebody is Holy Spirit filled and driven to do what God wants them to do. So do not be deceived. You're going to have to pay attention to the fruit on some individual's tree, if you will. Fire vision, symbolism, what have you, is what God can use at any given moment. Whether you're a prophetess, a seer, a medium, a spiritist. Whatever, whoever, side of light, side of darkness, fire is consuming. Okay. Hebrews 12, 29, for our God is a consuming fire. Okay. To delve a little deeper into what consuming means is a feeling, completely filling one's mind and attention. Okay, filling one's mind and attention, absorbing, okay, a consuming passion. For our God is a consuming fire. Luke 3.16, John answered them all saying, I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming. The strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. On the side of light, when there is a move of the spirit, it is a good thing to be indwelled with the Holy Spirit type of fire, if you will. But there is the demonic, demonic entities at work where fire is burning things up. It's taking over buildings. It's taking over landscapes. Some of you all, you've seen evidence of this sort of thing out there in California. You've seen evidence of this when, unfortunately, you live somewhere, you knew someone who lived somewhere where there was a wiring issue. Some folks have worked with people who they claim they knew what they were doing and they ended up burning things up. Okay. Some folks who weren't paying attention to something that was in the stove or on top of the stove and the next thing you know, flames were everywhere. Okay. Fire destroys. Fire can do the types of things that breaks a man's spirit. A fireman who I wanted to go in there, I wanted to save that family and I couldn't. His spirit broken as a result. Some things God will allow to happen. There's a starting over. There's a freshness. There's something new. I know it's hard for some people sometimes, but Lord Jesus. Isaiah 43, 2, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers. They shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. For some of you, symbolically, fire is around because there is the demonic at work that is out to once again kill, steal, and destroy to really, really work a number on some people, right? But you, you're going to walk through the fire and you shall not be burned. Hallelujah. And the flame shall not consume you. <laughs> Here goes that word consume. You see, it's not going to consume you. It's not going to completely fill your mind and your attention. The fire that we see in the media when it comes to all sorts of issues going on with people, places, and things around the world, it's not consuming us. I, I thought there were some things that should have been on my radar. The Lord said, no, it's not necessary for it to be on your radar because your people aren't in that situation. Hallelujah. Your people are not going to be burned. Hallelujah. The folks... Lord Jesus, that I have called you to speak to will not be burned. Hallelujah. They're going to see some things around them, but it's not going to touch them. 
Oh, receive that word. They're going to feel some things around them, but it's not going to touch them. You're going to be well prepared for something that's not even going to touch you. <laughs> but it's nice to be prepared, though. Hallelujah. Mount Sinai was wrapped. Sinai. Mount Sinai was wrapped in smoke because the Lord had descended on it in fire. The smoke of it went up like the smoke of a kiln and the whole mountain trembled greatly. See, some folks is giving credit to the devil in some situations and that's fine. But then there's also the situation that God presents and it has nothing to do with the devil. Matter of fact, the devil didn't even see it coming. This isn't in the playbook. Oh my gosh, what is this? That's God. He descended on, on it in fire. He showed up strong. Some individuals, they didn't want to receive it when we warned them. God is showing up. He's tired of the witchy stuff. He's tired of the witchcraft. He's tired of the evil, you see. The smoke of it went up like the smoke of a kiln, and an oven, a stove. And a whole mountain trembled greatly. The world trembles because are we going to be next? Are we going to be next? We're going to talk about earthquakes because some folks, oh, they thought, well, it's over there. Oh, but sooner or later, it's going to come, come close, come to the U.S. Oh, Lord, are they going to be ready? People have been talking about this sort of thing for years. Some things God's going to do that man's not going to understand. Woman's not going to understand. They's not going to understand. All they're going to do is just go, oh, what? Yeah. Because man thinks that he can control everything, you see, until God shows up. In the scriptures, in the early scripture, Exodus 40, 38, for the cloud of the Lord was on the tabernacle by day. And fire was in it by night in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. This is where fire was used in a peaceful, right? Calm way, guiding. But there's that other side. Deuteronomy 4.24, for the Lord your God is a, once again, consuming fire, a jealous God. You know, you know why some people end up setting fire to some things? Jealousy. You know why God ends up allowing some things to happen? Jealousy. He said he's a jealous God. Are you to take that lightly? No. When you say that you're faithful to God, that you trust in the Lord, that you believe in the Lord, that you're leaning on the Lord, you love the Lord, you say all these things, but then you let that man get in the way of your prayer time. Uh-oh. That man who's ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Uh-huh. You say all these things, and the Lord says, I hear you, but I'm not seeing where I'm first and foremost, what I see is, is that you got your eyes and your life and everything centered around everybody else but me. And the only time you want to call on me is when you need something from me. Is that what, is that the kind of relationship that we're going to have? Lord says, I don't want that kind of relationship. Let me just, <laughs> let me just uh, calm down a little bit because I could very well destroy you. And he could. That's why I fear the Lord. I fear the Lord. Somebody's not fearing the Lord. Proverbs 1, 7 says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. The instruction, the wisdom that you received in order to move throughout the day. You prayed about it. Then God gave it to you. Then you ignored it and you did what you wanted to do. You should have been fearing the Lord. I fear the Lord. Let me just go ahead on and do what I'm supposed to be doing. I fear the Lord because I know better. I, I know my God, my God, he has done some things. I don't want that issue showing up here. Child, you better listen. You see, sometimes that fear is the motivation to get you to finally go ahead on and do what you need to do. Say what you need to say. Depart from the fools. 
Because once you see that the fools are getting burnt up, if you will, by the fire, uh, I think I'm going to go head on and do what I need to do. I mean, Sodom and Gomorrah, it's burnt up. It's burnt up and somebody goes, you know what? I'm not going to play with God. I'm going to keep walking. Turn my wife to stone. Mm -hmm. She was disobedient, turned around when she shouldn't have. God showed up in fire. Folks always attributing a demonic. Yeah, the demonic uses fire too, but scripture says God in the Old Testament, he was answering by fire. Don't get God and the devil confused. Hebrews 1, 7 said of the angels, he says he makes his angels winds and his ministers what? A flame of fire. That's right. That's right. Sometimes you're seeing fire among a child of light, not because it's a demonic spirit at work. It is because the hand of God is upon that one. Zechariah 2.5 said, and I will be to her a wall of fire all around, declares the Lord, and I will be the glory in her midst. Someone may have seen this in the spiritual realm concerning me, said, what is going on? I see fire around this person. Oh, I hope she's all right. I hope everything's okay. That's God putting a wall of fire around. See, when you got demonic enemies, entities that don't like you, what have you, they go on this attack. And God knows what they're up to. And so he will create these fortresses around us. He'll put these protections around us in the spiritual realm. And if someone gets too close or they're doing some things they don't have any business doing, suddenly they're destroyed or there's some kind of freak accident that occurs. If they're messing with fire, it can happen that way. I learned a long time ago when I wasn't walking with the Lord, there were certain people who were of the Lord that you just don't mess with. You just don't. It doesn't mean that there's something so special and oh my goodness. It's just that those are God's people. So you just leave them alone. But you got some of these folks who do unorthodox things in the hopes of getting some results moving the needle, if you will, in the satanic realm or with God, instead of just simply fearing the one true God and leaving the demonic alone. And so God shows up in the symbolism of fire. And then sometimes quite literally fire shows up and somebody ends up experiencing something that they've never experienced before. And it is not always positive for some people, you see. So these fire visions are to be taken seriously, but make sure that when you are trying to understand, when you're trying to discern, that you understand that if God is showing up as a consuming fire around a believer, it doesn't mean that that believer is with a demonic, okay? <laughs> Sometimes fire is showing up to destroy. Sometimes the fire is showing up to remind some people to back away, to stop speaking ill of Sometimes fire is showing up because the intention is to move something out the way, to burn something up, to get rid of it, to uh, so many different reasons, right? Sometimes it all depends on the person who's having the dream or vision. What exactly does fire mean to you? You see, it could be something that you're grappling with that you want to destroy, that you want to get rid of. Mm hmm. Oh, the truth has a way of showing up and showing out. And why is that? There is, of course, that fire that some folks don't want to be reminded of. Ministers won't even talk about because they want to keep some people showing up at the church. And that's Revelation 2015. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. So the lake of fire is coming for some individuals. That's why they're scared. God showing them themselves being in the fire. Got a whole lot of things going on. 
2 Thessalonians 1 8 in flaming fire inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus there it is in the scriptures there's going to be a suffering if you will they don't want to obey they don't know God because they don't take the time to get to know him they're causing all sorts of hell on earth and you think there's no fire for them hmm. Lord Jesus it doesn't matter though what a flawed man or woman thinks we know what God is his word was here long before us people who had good sense read his word studied his word meditated upon his word and walked in the way of the Lord and I know from the way they lived their lives, there's no way that they were going to know fire on the other side. Lord Jesus. So for some of you all, fire has showed up, whether it was in a dream or whether it was quite literal, or maybe it was someone talking to you about fire. But you take heed and know that God wants something to be shown, something to be made manifested, something that is about his business. Too many people are losing their souls behind ignoring a mighty God. Some people are losing their lives because God has declared a Sodom and Gomorrah type of experience upon the land. Genesis nineteen twenty four. then the Lord rained on Sodom and Gomorrah, sulfur and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Taking a moment to give honor and praise to the Lord and also allowing the Lord's spirit to lead to those who have understanding, let them understand. Hallelujah. Thank you, O Heavenly Father, for you are great, for you are wonderful, for you are everything that we are not. Lord Jesus, we thank you for reminding us of your fire. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, for giving us the words to speak to those individuals who needed to hear this word today. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, for your gifts, including that of tongue in James 3, 5. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. We pray, Lord Jesus, to guard our mouths from saying anything or doing anything that would stir up unnecessary difficulty, dramas and traumas. Let us go, Lord Jesus, in peace wherever we may end up. And may we not be impacted by fire, literally or figuratively, in evil ways. Protect our families. Protect us as we're riding, walking, driving, as we're sleeping at night and going about our day. And we ask, Lord Jesus, for your warning, for your protection for anything that we need lord if fire is nigh we ask these things in jesus name amen and for some of you all it might be something as simple as checking overloaded outlets right it might be the flickering that goes on in the house electrical problems too many changing of the light bulbs time to get the electrician out there it may be the Lord speaking to you on making sure you've got fire safety tools in the house. Maybe you need a fire blanket, right? A fire extinguisher. 
You know, we're just looking at everything related to fire. It could be that there is plenty of uh, things around your property that could start fire. Might need to get a sprinkler system, right? Remove the brush, get the brush back from the house. You might be one who's careless when it comes to smoking or you know someone who is. Fire is a great motivator of getting somebody to stop smoking. Lord Jesus. But whatever fire represents, let's just trust in the one true God. He is a consuming fire. I thank you as always for taking the time out to listen. You've been listening to YouTube and I'm Enterprise 7. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment. We do welcome giving and thanks in advance. Blessings to you.